YouTube back at it again with another ESO video for the PS4 Ebonheart pack. I'm going to show y'all today a little mid rank veteran farming route that I have been using over here in Bangkorai. And the waypoint is uh, Passway Shrine, which is south of Evermore. Let's warp there. And I'll show you what I'm doing back here on my Vampire Dunmere Dragon Knight. And I'm rocking some heavy armor, some tankish, tankish style setups. If you were looking to play a battle mage, man, this is the perfect kind of character to get if you want to play a battle mage. Now, when I'm farming these guys, man, I'm farming veteran rank experience, champion points. I'm farming loot, set items, all kinds of stuff. Items to beef construct at the blacksmith, to level your blacksmithing skill up. Items to... Um, sale for money obviously and let's go ahead and get into some gameplay here these guys Lee, you can do this solo or you can do it uh, with a friend um, I like I like doing this with a friend more it goes a little quicker you know so if you got like a DPS kind of friend and uh, you and him want to get into some farming and, and get some gear and stuff, uh, then hit up this route right here. So look, if you look on the map, this is like an actual quest area. So what I like to do is like run this whole route, go up through here, come back into this little area here. I kind of don't mess with this much, but like right in here, I'll, I'll show you. And I'll show you exactly what I do. So go through here kill a couple of these guys um, if you're interested in checking out this build um, check out my previous video that I uploaded on here so I've got uh, I don't really go into detail about the tank setup I can do that but I do go into detail about the staff side of things if you want to wear some light armor and stuff like that but so I come up through here and these are all undead so another thing you could do here when farming is level up the spider's guild if your fighter's guild uh, is not leveled up yet, then uh, come here, you know, mid rank, if you're veteran rank, even, you know, I, I started farming this area at like veteran rank two, I think. So veteran rank two, I started farming. And um, now I'm veteran rank six. And it took, took me a couple days. Uh, but yeah, like if you're trying to level up any kind of skill, even vampire, but fighter skill skills, you have to be killing undead, and you have to be killing uh, something like that, Daedra. Daedra. So the, all these guys are skeletons, and um, so you will level up your fighter skill here, and get the experience in the item. You can find a lot of set items here. For example, I found uh, two pretty good rings, Band of Cerebanes. As for a magic build, I mean, you've got different kinds of set items you can find. I, I don't know how that works exactly. I don't, uh, I don't know how that works exactly. Like it seems like in certain areas that I farm, I get uh, specific set items. So I don't know if each area is designated a set item to to drop, or if it's just based on you know level. I, I'm not sure exactly how that works. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you the rest of this run. Uh, I start off the fight here. If you're a dragon, I start the fight with a gulping flame. Swap over, burning embers. Hit them with a fire ring there, and then swap back to my lava whip. Uh, pretty good solo style of build here. Bats is always up. So the engulfing flames is, is what I'm breathing out of my mouth. It, it increases all the damage of my other fire spells. So really handy. Um. If I'm getting into a situation to where, what are these guys, archers? Uh, I don't want to draw any archers. See if these guys are melee. Uh, no. Well, <clears throat> if I'm getting to a situation where I want to do a lot of uh, damage, swap here, hit burning embers, structured entropy, firing, swap back, trap them again. And really, uh, I call that a uh, damage over time uh, execution. I guess going through going through different things so like I hit them with engulfing flames increases my fire damage 
hit them with the, the burning talons, also doing fire damage over time, and trapping them. Swap over this to this. Now, structured entropy is the middle skill there on the circle button. Increases your spell damage by 20%. Also does damage over time to one target. Then burning embers is the is the sword there. Uh, it's your major uh, dot damage. Damage over time does uh, more than the others. Plus, at the end of it, it'll heal you. So I usually hit at least two people with that. Hit them with a uh, fire ring, which also does damage over time. Then swap back and start spamming lava whip. So that's kind of what, what I'm doing here. So you'll see here, flames, trap them. Burning embers, swap back, go to fire whip. And that annoying cryer match, man. Annoying magic user there. Kind of messed up what I was trying to show. And all the time I'm picking up everything that they drop, so I'm trying to get loot. I get all that stuff. Uh, so let's take a look at it here. Go up and claim, burn talent, swap over. Get one of the both of the embers. Now I've still got time to swap back over and trap them and just go back into. So that one guy died and I never hit him with a lot of wood. Now the defenders have a little more, uh, they got a little more HP, a little more buffy, I guess you would say, than the others. So, um, that's, that's the Dragonite setup. I really like playing the Dragonite. Dragonite's a fun character. Uh, these guys, you gotta watch out for these archers though, they're annoying. They do a lot of damage. If you let them from a distance. But I'm like a, I'm like a tank setup, so... I'm always, uh, and I'm out of mana, that's okay, I got bats. Being a vampire, bam, vampire bat, and also being a block knight, uh, anytime that you block, you generate an ultimate. Look at the ultimate I've already generated, I haven't even done anything, but I just used my ultimate. And being stage for vampirism, you can always keep your ultimate up, at least every other battle. And then it restores, being a dragon knight and having battle roar, it restores all my resources, so that's good resource management. So, uh, this is what I've been doing here to, uh, I wish I could take that button off. I do that all the time, swap first person. If I can change that. I think I can maybe in the custom controller thing, but don't know for sure. But really, I don't need, don't need, I don't need bats a lot unless, like, I was farming Craglorn earlier, and, you know, they come in waves, and I was having to use a lot of bats, but, like, I can start off the fight bats if I want to. Three to five, swap over, embers, ember him, ember him, swap back, trap, and they're pretty much dead, except for the defender. But, yeah, a lot of dot damage, flying a lot of dot damage, and pretty much, see, see how I ran, I ran over that hill, ran across this big building, and now I'm coming back up this way. Killing everything in sight. Flying my dot damage. And I, you know, I got a lot of self healing too with burning embers and vampire bath. Look, it's up again. And I, the, the burning talent is the key. It's the key. The burning talent. Because if these guys, these mages and these uh, archers, they will run away from the pack. Like, if I don't, if I don't trap these guys here, then they're going to get away, and and when you when I separate them out, when they're separated out, they're they're harder to deal with because you got you may have a, a a melee character in your face fighting you, then you may have a archer in the distance or a mage, and it's just really annoying, and you don't want to have to deal with that. You want to hit them with your AOE effects all together at once, so that way you're knocking them out as quick as you can. I like shield bash too. If I'm low on mana, I'll start spamming shield bash because my block is so high, I hardly take any damage. I just hold my shield up. I got, you know, it generates ultimate all the time, and um, yeah, I don't take any damage. And it's really good because I can hold my shield up and still use my skills. So it's really handy. If I do have to dodge roll like that, I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, being low on resources. And if I ever need stamina, I can actually just pop a potion. But I knew I was only 1v1 in that guy there, so I didn't do that. But anyways, this is the run. So uh, I'm almost done with it here. And then immediately, immediately when the run is over, uh, everything, you don't, the run doesn't end. You just keep doing this big, long circle here. And um, that's pretty much the whole run. And one good thing, like I said, I was talking about lava whip. 
I hold my shield up when enemies use power attacks. If you hold your shield up and hit your shield, they'll stun themselves, and then you immediately do a lava whip, and it procs a self heal for like three thousand and knocks them down. I mean, you cannot beat that. It's a very effective setup I've got going on right now. But anyways, guys, um, real quick, so I run around this way. See, I'm doing this little going down through here and around and back down. So. You would come in here, you fight that group, fight that group, then you'd go back here, fight this guy. And you would fight you would fight those guys. And being a vampire I can sneak at full speed. Then we'd come over here, you'd fight those two guys, those three guys right down there. And there's a couple more guys past them. Then you would circle back up this hill. Circle back up this hill, fight that guy, fight those two guys. And that is what you're doing, you're circling. See the big houses over there? The big church or whatever it is. And then you would continue through this hill, back around the church, back up through that way, and back through this way again. So that's what I've been farming. Veteran rank 6, halfway almost, um, got, you know, several champion points, 31. Um, it's, not a, it's not a hard run, if, especially if you get a, get a friend or two with you, you will storm through this. But uh, that's what I'm rocking right now, I'm rocking this uh, Dunmere Vampire, Vampire Dragon Knight. And uh, trying to farm a little bit, get my veteran rank levels up, level up some skills. Like I said, great for Fighter's Guild or anything like that, so... Anyways, that's all of this. Check out this farming uh, place, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.